Well, this is quite interesting. Turkey is claiming to have detained 34 people that are allegedly to be Mossad agents. That's a lot of people to be a part of Mossad to be captured in one nation. The Turkish Interior Ministry says that 33 people have been arrested on suspicion of planning abductions and spying on behalf of the Israeli intelligence services. Well, the suspects were rounded up in raids across Istanbul and elsewhere in the country. Well, it's not yet clear if those arrested are Israeli nationals. Well, diplomatic relations between Turkey and Israel have nosedived ever since the outbreak of the war in Gaza nearly three months ago. Well, let's get the latest from France 24's Jasper Mortimer in Ankara. Jasper, have you got any further details on what happened there today? Yes, well, the um, arrests have now totaled 34, um, and the government says it is looking for 12 others. Turkish officials have been quoted as... Well, 34 people captured with 12 more on the, on the lookout to be captured, so 46 people total. If they actually are Mossad agents, and if they are, well, they're slipping up. Just saying the detainees are suspecting of working against foreign nationals, especially Palestinians living in Turkey. And the National Intelligence Organization, MEET as it's known by its acronym, uh, says the detainees were targeting Palestinians and Israeli activists and their families living in Turkey. The nationality of those arrested today has not yet been disclosed. Closed. They haven't yet appeared in court. Now, the background to these arrests is, first of all, Hamas, the leading Palestinian uh, opposition group, in uh, militant group in Gaza. Uh, this group is legal in Turkey, whereas Europe and the United States regard Hamas as a terrorist organization, Turkey does not. And last month, President That's crazy. I I, I know um, Turkey supported the uh, ceasefire. Didn't know they uh, didn't make uh, Hamas in, in their country. So, I mean, nations get to dictate who's a terrorist group and who's not. Recep Erdogan warned Israel against hunting for Hamas members in Turkey. All of this comes... Uh, you know, as a background to what is happening in Gaza today. Uh, and relations between Israel and Turkey have been up and down since 2010. The two governments have recalled their ambassadors from each other's capitals three times in the past 13 years. However, last year, relations were improving. Ambassadors had returned to Tel Aviv and Ankara until October the 7th, when the Hamas brutal attack on Israel was followed by a massive Israeli offensive on Gaza, which um, President Erdogan has repeatedly condemned, accused Israel of going too far, um, in its uh, offensive in Gaza. And last week, Erdogan compared the Israeli Prime Minister, Bibi Netanyahu, to Hitler. So things are pretty well at an Well, he's not the only one that has compared uh, Bibi to Hitler. Even uh, many of his own citizens have compared him to Hitler. At an all-time time low at the moment. 